Hey, welcome back to the part two of the uh, watermelon roll. In the first part, we have done the main water mill and the closer areas. The main subject was completed in that. In this part, we are drawing the, the surroundings of the water mill and the uh, nearby landscape of the water mill. So if you have not seen the first part, I strongly suggest please go to the, go into the first part and see that video first and then come back to this particular video. So the, the link of the first part is given on the top pop-up menu or I will be giving that same uh, link on the description below. So once again, thanks for watching and let us move on to the part two of the watermelon drawing. Now we are continuing with the surrounding areas, the grass, uh, the boat and the trees etc. So now we are going to <clears throat> darken the areas the the stones the, the rock and the boat near to it we had given the we had made the outline already now we are making those uh, shapes more clear by properly shading it and giving the necessary contrast in some cases we may have to do the backgrounds also to highlight certain objects so by darkening the backgrounds sometimes we make the object stand out that is called a negative drawing or negative painting in the painting also we use that same process sometimes So you may have to use that plastic sheet when you are doing some areas like this because your hand is now coming on certain already shaded areas so the chances are that it can be smudged so by using a plastic sheet or a paper or a butter paper or something like that will prevent it from smudging. So that way you can comfortably do the shading without any worry.
now we are moving on to the uh, trees and the greenery or the foliage behind the water mill and one thing which we have to uh, keep in mind is that is something called aerial perspective aerial perspective is a phenomenon uh, that the things which are far away will be faded little bit than the, the things on the front they will be having their color also faded and their darkness also faded so things go away become smaller that is one thing that is the basics basic of uh, perspective but things which are away farther away will be having less darkness or less contrast than the things which are near to us that's basically because the air in, in the atmosphere has lots of uh, particles in that and the, those particles will reduce the visibility of those things which are farther away so when you are shading or when you are doing a painting you have to keep that in mind so just by increasing the contrast and the color you can keep that distance or you can create a feel of the distance which one is far and which one is near that is called aerial perspective those uh, those uh, finer concepts will be dealt in detail when i uh, make some videos on perspective you can see that tree that second tree is even farther away so that will be having less contrast or less darkness the tree which which the tree which is a little bit nearer is a bit more clear and having more contrast as and when it goes farther away the contrast and the color reduces so that phenomenon you have to do in pencil drawing also that way you can create a feel of far and near things you can see there is a pine tree also behind this particular tree but that pine tree and compare the pine tree which is on the right side you can see both are having two different contrast So after making certain areas, if it is little darker, you can just uh, put this uh, 
uh, needed eraser and then you can make all those extra graphite or extra blackness you can absorb so that way you can make those things lighter these kind of uh, tricks are not possible with our regular uh, eraser things are very much nearer you give more details and more contrast and more darkness if this is a painting then you give more uh, color for those things which are near to us And now we are drawing the water so you have to be aware of the reflection which is happening in the water which are the major things will get reflected in water you have to be careful about that and you have to give the water surface in such a way that those reflections are visible The ripples also should be there at the same time you have to uh, roughly create that shape those reflection in water also so in the left side you can see that the front smaller uh, part of the mill is having a reflection in water similarly now the reflection of the wheel the turbine is also going to be slightly shown in the water those wooden uh, supports of the water uh, water channel is also now shown in the reflection
So now we are almost getting the final details or the final portion of the drawing. Yeah, thus we have come to the end of the drawing.